A parking ticket in Edinburgh is £30. And if you don't pay it within two weeks, it goes up to £60. Getting a ticket can seriously ruin your day. My name's William Brown, but most of my friends and people that know me call me Willie. Uh, I'm a carpenter, builder. I'm about giving people a break. It'll make them a little bit happier. If I'm walking down the street and see a parking warden about to put a ticket on a car, I will pay 30 pence and prevent them from getting a ticket and save their day. It makes me feel good, but it makes the person feel even better. Definitely a lot more restricted parking in Edinburgh. Ten years ago, you would have felt a bit more comfortable leaving your car, knowing that you had five minutes before someone was going to put a ticket on. Now it just seems like it's, it's instant. In the blink of an eye, there's a ticket on your car. Traffic wardens do seem to hide in the most miraculous of places. You can check a street and they'll come out of nowhere. I'm not entirely sure where all the money goes. I do feel sorry for the smaller businesses and the smaller shops. They're relying on people to stop outside on the main road. Supermarkets, they all have parking, but the small shops, there's often nowhere to park nearby. I think we can all be a little bit forgetful at times, absent-minded or late. I, I like people to arrive at their car knowing they've not got a ticket that day. I think if you have a nice car, the parking warden may take a little bit of extra pleasure by issuing you a ticket. The first time I saved someone from a ticket and it was walking down the street and I saw one of my favourite cars of all time. It was a DeLorean and a parking warden was just about to put a ticket on it. And I looked at this and I said, I, ca I can't have this happen. I got a ticket out of the machine, carefully placed it on the window and uh, told the parking warden, get lost. Just so happened, the owner of the car witnessed this. The guy was so happy, he just, he couldn't believe what I'd done. He let me sit in the driver's seat and hold the steering wheel and pretend that I was driving. I'll never forget the uh, goodwill and warmth I felt from this experience. And you right then and there, I wanted to feel more of this warmth. It's actually become a bit of an obsession now and I do have uh, a series of rules that I live by. The early bird catches the worm in this game. I know all the routes they take. I know when they have their breaks, uh, I know their routines, you know, I've studied these people. Sometimes I'll be in the back seat of a car, just under a blanket. The parking warden hides in doorways, down alleyways, and so will I. At the end of the day, my 50 pence has the final word. I love the feel of change in my pocket. I have one major advantage, I can just blend into a crowd, sometimes even a bush. Some of the ticket situations that really upset me are the, uh, you know, when the back wheel just touching the yellow line. Tickets issued at 5.25. Tickets issued on bank holidays. Quotas. I don't help people on double yellow lines. People who park in disabled bays. Putting a parking ticket on a car doesn't make it any easier for a fire engine to get past, that's for sure. If someone's got no road tax, there's nothing I can do there either. But in the parking bays, I can certainly help. The new minis, I can't help them. It makes me feel quite sick in the stomach when I'm near them. Yellow cars aren't, aren't my strong point, but I'll still help them. Some tips. If they're about to put it on and you're in the car, put your windscreen wipers on. Start your engine. If the ticket's not on your car, officially it's not been issued. If they ever try and give you the ticket by hand, refuse to accept it. I've gotten my fair share of arguments with parking wardens, but you know, you've got to watch what you say. That said, I do get an extra buzz saving the damsel in distress, and actually that's uh, how I ended up meeting my wife. Quit your havering! That's what I said. I see myself as an ordinary man trying to make this city a better place. It's, it's good if you can find a place to park, just a nicer place to live. It's good exercise, you know, I get out for the day. I like the fresh air in the morning, I can walk six, seven miles in a day. I love doing this. It's about the little guy taking on the establishment. <laughs>